This research project is a collaboration uh, between the chemistry department and the biology department here at AUC. Um, the idea was that our uh, chemistry colleagues synthesized a version of a drug, which is a, a chemotherapy drug, which is exclusively used for cancer patients in Japan. I searched the literature and I find a very promising drug which is approved in Japan. I worked on this drug and I decided to, to develop it further in order to, to be approved not only in Japan but to be approved worldwide and be approved by the FDA. My research focused on uh, developing new carriers for different anti-cancer drugs in order to deliver them selectively to the cancer cells. Our aim was to target the anti-cancer drugs inside the body to the place of the tumor without affecting the healthy cells. The idea is, is that by doing this, you may increase the efficacy by which the drug is delivered to cancer cells. Once the, the chemists had successfully um, achieved this modification, the encapsulation of the drug, next they needed to test the biological, uh, biological relevance of this uh, discovery or of this work that they had done. So this is when my lab uh, became involved. So what we did was to take the, the drug that the chemists had synthesized and then we tested it on human cells in culture. And we tested it both on cancer cells and normal cells. And what we found was that indeed the modification of the drug made the drug more effective. Uh, the next step would be to see if these benefits also hold true in living organisms. So you would then need to test it, for example, on animals such as mice or rabbits or, or something like this. I believe our work had a huge impact uh, either locally or globally. Uh, because further trials might take place on this work uh, and I, I believe this magic formulas one a day will, uh, will enter the market and be the reason for treating thousands and thousands of cancer patients. So one of the things that we're very proud of in this uh, study is that all the work was conducted at AUC. So all the experiments in the chemistry department and in the biology department were exclusively done here on this campus in our labs. Um, another thing that we're very happy about is that our postgraduate students were involved in this work. So we had one PhD student from the chemistry department and two master's students and a postdoctoral post researcher from the biology department, all of which contributed to the work and conducted all the experiments here.